The terms delta and y identify how the windings on the distribution side of a substation transformer are connected together. This is an illustration that represents the winding connections for a substation transformer in a delta system. Each coil represents a separate phase winding in a three-phase substation transformer. The ends of each winding are connected to ends of the other two windings so that all three windings are interconnected. Each phase of a primary delta distribution circuit begins at the point where two windings are connected together. In order for distribution equipment to function in a delta system, connections are typically made between at least two of the three phases. For example, a single phase distribution transformer could be connected between phases A and B. With these connections, current circulates through two phases of the system. In this example, phases A and B. The transformer could also be connected between phases B and C so that current circulates through those two phases. Or the transformer could be connected between phases C and A and current would circulate through those two phases. A typical three-phase primary delta system is a three-wire system, one wire for each phase. And delta system equipment is normally connected between two of the phases. Now, here's an illustration that represents the winding connections for a substation transformer in a Y system. In a Y system, one end of each winding is connected at a common point and typically connected to a grounded system neutral. Each phase of a primary Y distribution system begins at the other end of one winding. In order for distribution equipment to function in a Y system, Connections are typically made between at least one of the three phases and neutral. For example, a single phase distribution transformer could be connected between phase A and neutral. With these connections, current circulates through one phase of the system and the system neutral. In this case, the A phase and neutral. The transformer could also be connected between phase B and neutral so that current circulates through that phase and neutral. Or the transformer could be connected between phase C and neutral, so that current circulates through C phase and neutral. A typical three-phase Y system, then, is a four-wire system. And Y system equipment is normally connected between one phase and the system neutral. The number of wires in a primary circuit is not a surefire way to determine if a circuit is delta or Y. But it can be one of the first clues. For example, here's what a three-wire delta system looks like. There's one wire for each of the three primary phases. Here's a typical four-wire Y system. There's one wire for each of the three primary phases, and a fourth wire for the system neutral. The system neutral is typically located below the three phases, as it is here. In some specific cases, such as where lightning is a problem, the system neutral is sometimes located above the phase wires, so that it may also act as a static wire to provide some lightning protection. Here's another example of a circuit. It looks like a three-wire delta circuit, but it's actually a Y circuit. These two lines are phase wires, and this center line is the grounded system neutral. Here's the three-wire delta circuit that we looked at earlier. And here's a single-phase transformer rated for the range of 25 kVA that's connected to the circuit. Notice that it's connected between two phases of the primary circuit. This is a typical connection for a single-phase distribution transformer on a delta primary circuit. Notice also that the transformer has two primary bushings. A transformer on a delta system must have a primary bushing to insulate each of the two phase wire connections to the transformer. Here's the four wire Y circuit that we looked at earlier. And here's a single phase transformer rated for the range of 10 kVA that's connected to the circuit. 
Notice that the transformer is connected to only one phase of the primary circuit. The other transformer connection is from a case ground on the side of the transformer to the grounded system neutral. This is a typical connection for a single phase distribution transformer on a Y primary circuit. Notice that the transformer has only one primary bushing. A single phase transformer on a Y system only requires one primary bushing to insulate the one phase wire connection to the transformer. There are cases where a transformer with two primary bushings is used on a Y system, but the transformer is still connected to only one phase of the primary circuit. The other primary bushing insulates a connection to the system neutral. Finally, here's the three wire Y circuit that we looked at earlier. It looks like a delta circuit, but look at the transformer. It has only one primary bushing. That in itself says that the transformer is connected to a Y circuit, because a transformer on a delta circuit must have two primary bushings. This transformer's primary bushing is connected to one phase of the three wire primary circuit. It has a case ground connection to the pole ground and the pole ground is connected to the center wire of the three wire circuit. This means that the center wire is the system neutral for this circuit. So instead of this being a three phase delta circuit, it's a two phase Y circuit with a system neutral on the cross arm between the two phases.